So when it's time to pick up and knit, the first thing that I always like to do is take a good close look at the selvage where I'm going to be doing my picking up and knitting. In a fabric like ours, where we have got so much going on, what I'm going to look for are landmarks, meaning loops of yarn at the selvage that are regularly spaced along, because if I can see a bump or a nub that sticks out, then I know, or I can guess at least, that it's going to be pretty simple to do what I'm doing here, slip the tip of the needle I'm going to use to pick up and knit under the stitches. And, uh, you know, this looks pretty good so far. If I start to pull up these loops that I spotted that are prominent at the selvage, I get a nice little range there of evenly spaced uh, picked up stitches. Now, in this pattern, we're not just picking up, we are going to pick up and knit, which means that we will be using a piece of working yarn. I've got this lurid green here. Um, and we will be using it to make new stitches. These will form the basis of the border that goes around our four pieces that we've put together. So you see here, I put the needle through and pull the yarn through on the needle um, exactly in the same way that I, who am a continental knitter, a picker knitter by default, tend to knit my stitches. If you are one who throws, you may find yourself instead using the right hand to throw this yarn around the needle as you go through. Um, and if you find this to be completely ridiculous um, with your particular fingers, needle, and yarn, then there's no shame at all in using a crochet hook to pull through the fabric. Now sometimes I'll take a guess, as I'm doing here, and I'll say, well, let's try this. That looks like a place to pick up. And it's hard to get the needle through, but I do it. And then uh, those seem a little bit too close together. So let's try over here and go ahead. Oh, no. See, I can already see that is creating kind of a large hole in the piece. Well, what about this here? Let's go under there. And what do I find? Aha! That's pretty much what I wanted to happen. My point there is that there's not an exact science to this on a fabric that has this many uh, different things going on in the selvage. Um, there is a little bit of um, a hunt and peck. It's a bit of a treasure hunt sometimes, but what you want to aim for are picked up in knit stitches that are um, reasonably uh, uh, evenly spaced across. And what's interesting is that if you look at the number of stitches that you are asked to pick up um, along each of the two squares that um, that will make up one side of your your uh, pillow, um, you'll find that the number of stitches that I ask you to pick up, which is 26, means picking up one every other row.